Niger Delta is becoming one of the most heavily armed regions on Earth. The weapons are well out of sight of visiting journalists, but locals know they're there and fear they may be used. As frustration and poverty spill over into militancy and violence in the Niger Delta, the areas of the Ogoni ethnic group are affected too. Mossop, the movement for the survival of the Ogoni people, fears an increase in violence around the elections and has called a congress to call for Ogoni unity. Do not allow them to lead us to the same path where we have passed before. Because I know that what they want to do is to provoke us to do the same thing again so that we start killing ourselves. Each month, millions are going into this area. And our children are dying. There are no hospitals. There are no schools. As the rains are coming, there are some schools that I know in this land. The Mossop leadership remains firmly committed to resistance and to non-violence. Someone is collecting money on the The people turned then to me, I mean to, to Mossop to if they have any complaints we have any problems they come to us because they cannot see their politicians that sounds as if there's a separation between political and moral authority of course there is i mean here because the people trust those they can see and those that they can look at their own records and say well these people will be impartial they will they have they can stand for me and that's where you de you, you derive the moral authority from um, the, the political authority sometimes is a creation of something that is artificial to the people. You, you, the elections are, are rigged, so the people do not believe that you are there on their mandate. Excuse me, excuse me! Okay. 30 days until the elections, and the ruling People's Democratic Party was holding a rally in River State capital, Port Harcourt. <laughs> President Obasanjo had promised to visit, and PDP supporters had been waiting since early morning. In Nigeria, it can cost as little as 20 US cents to hire a party supporter, and it is impossible to tell the paid from the genuine. PDP is doing us fine. We want PDP to continue. PDP again. To continue again. And again, thank you very much. Tell me what is happening today. Yes, today we are flagging off for mayor and the Yaradua. So what you're waiting for is the next PDP president hopeful to come here, introduce himself to you. Yes. yes. And the governor chief of the state. That is the selection the mayor. So this is the most peaceful state, yeah. the most hospitality in this locality. The most peaceful state? Yes. yes. That's not what I what is the PDP promising if they win the election? PDP is promising that they will forge Jiva State ahead. They will forge Nigeria ahead. PDP is promising that they will improve agriculture, thereby giving people employment. PDP is at the time promising that they will improve the infrastructure facilities in the state. With all the corruption charges in the news, how could the supporters tell who was honest? I cannot say for sure. Some money. I cannot say they are corrupt. I cannot say for sure. Uh -huh. eh? I cannot say they are corrupt, but I know that this particular person will deliver. He's definitely not corrupt, you're saying? No, no. Yeah? What is the PDP slogan? PDP, power to the people. PDP, power to the people. When is the president coming then? Well, any time from now. Any time from, any, from now, who will soon arrive. But the waiting for the politician's arrival continued, and confusion was spreading. It had seemed that Celeste Nomea was confirmed as the PDP's next gubernatorial candidate for River State, but suddenly rumors were abounding that another PDP candidate, Martins Yellow, might be nominated as governor instead. We are supporting Omeya for governor. He's our governor, and he will remain. Nobody can remove him. We are mothers of Niger Delta Bayata. These people were clearly supporting Celestine Omea as governor for River State. 
BDP is going to forge ahead, and that is why the lessons and the data remains unshakable. Do you think if Obasanjo would try and change it, Obasanjo trouble? Obasanjo too cannot try it because he will defend the party will lose. Obasanjo is aware of it. Obasanjo is aware of it, and in fact, Obasanjo is supportive of the lessons and data. We are aware of that, and we are conscious of that. BDP power. BDP power. Finally, seven hours after the start of the rally, the new PDP presidential candidate, Umaru Yadwa, arrived. And may the blessing of the Almighty God come upon Nigeria. May the blessing of God come upon River State. We commit the activities of today into the hand of the Almighty God. All the dance, all the speeches, safety is of God. And then Martin's yellow supporters were pushing to the front. Martins! We're just standing back a bit because the atmosphere in front of the stage is really becoming palpably tense. On the one hand, there are the Celestine supporters still saying he should be PDP governor candidate for the state of Rivers. On the other hand, the Martin's yellow supporters are coming out strong just now. The crowd was thinning out, worried about potential clashes between the two camps of gubernatorial supporters. Even the men militants were rumored to be ready to come into town. This day certainly hasn't gone according to plan. There's so much tension inside the stadium now. Obasanjo never turned up and people don't like that. With President Obasanjo still absent, the stage was crowded with River State politicians. Current PDP governor Peter Odili, under investigation by Nigeria's anti-corruption authorities for the misuse of around 800 million US dollars, and with a potential court case pending, presented his choice for future governor. Presidential flag bearer and his running mate for supporting the choice of Celestine Obeya as the successor of Peter Odili. Let me stand as a shorty and a guarantor that Celestine Omeya will perform better than Peter Odin. Thankfully, this rally ended without incident. But the politicians are collecting supporters, and the violence and rigging of the 2003 elections have left a legacy of fear. The men militants are continuing to kidnap foreigners, and the European Union has decided not to post election monitors in the Delta because of safety concerns. To get better, it, but maybe it will get a little bit worse before it gets better. But it will get better. Certain about that, it will get better. You know. Because by the time we finish, those who will get in there again, maybe they will steal, but they will be looking over their shoulders. You know. They won't be doing it with impunity. Next week, we're back with another election, this time from France. If you have thoughts about what you've seen today, or on people in power in your region, we'd love to hear from you on aljazeera.net forward slash English. That's it for the program. Until next time, goodbye.